Yeah! <laughs> Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to Sonic Frontiers. Alright, so, we've progressed as far as we could in the story, up to the point where we need to do a thing in order to reach the boss fight. And it's that thing right there. But I want to take care of some things first before we, uh, you know, do that thing. So, uh, well, obviously we're not going to do the puzzle yet, but we're going to do it, um, you know, eventually. Well, I'll save it for another video. Anyway, uh, right now what I want to take care of is I want to take care of some, uh, take care of the uh, new Coco, actually. Because that's a thing that we haven't actually done yet, or rather, properly explained, or not really went for, but we just sort of took care of things along the way with that. But now I want to properly go after them, because, well, they are needed for technical completion, I guess. Well, technical completion. They're not really needed for any sort of, like, achievements or anything. Like, all the new stuff that was added in updates, uh, they aren't needed to get... Um, every single achievement or trophy. But it's just nice to have. Come on. Eh, oh, 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 come on. I'm trying to destroy. I'm trying to cheese this. I'm trying to cheese this because you have to do this like complete obstacle course type stuff. Yeah. See, there we go. There we go. I got this. I got it. Uh, I think I'm supposed to do light dash over here. And bada bing. Uh, Ninja Coco. Ninja Coco. Right over there. Alright, good. So we got that taken care of. Uh, oh gosh. Uh, do I remember this one? Oh wait, no, 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 no. I remember that one. I remember that one. I'm going to save that one for last. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to save that Coco for last. Because those two that are... Seemingly floating above, like, air is, uh, something else. Anyway, where I'm going is over this way now. And I think what I want to do is, uh, just do this to get a memory token. Because we are, go we are gonna also view the other side stories here today. We're just taking care of the extra additional stuff before we move along. By the way, side stories were in the uh, launch version of the game, by the way. Anyway, we're going on an automatic path here. So we have to sidestep with the bumpers. And uh, let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, right. You can cheese it. <gasps> yes. You can technically cheese it. Because all you really have to do is just to press the uh, button thingies. Yeah, the button thingies. Speaking of which, uh, I want to get this stuff for the uh, thumbnail, so, uh, photo mode time. <laughs> yeah, photo mode time. So, any new, any newer video games, any newer video game would have this feature by now. So, and this one is no exception. You can take photos so that you can just screenshot them and share them on social media. You know, take your best photos of the vistas of the Starfall Island. You know? <laughs> yeah, just do that. Just do all that. Um, this is probably one of the more bare bones photo modes because while you do have filters, like, yeah, while you do have all sorts of filters, uh, it could have been a whole lot, it could have been a whole lot more in depth, you know, like adjust stuff to field, you know, something akin to like Spider Man PS4's uh, photo mode, if that makes any sense. And I know to screenshot by pressing F12. So that'll be all fine and dandy for me. Either way, I, would, I just wanted to get this guy for the thumbnail. So you're welcome. You're very welcome on that. Can I make it over here? Yes, I can. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Please, please, please. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, God. I thought I was going to... Yeah. I thought I was going to do something. All right. Um, anyway, um, what I'm doing here is I want to go to a high enough spot so that I can hopefully cheese this next Coco because this is probably one of the harder 
a uh, new Coco to get on Kronos. So I put a marker where I put a marker over where it is. Uh it's over there and I wanna boost and I wanna boost jump. Can I do it from here? Yes I can. Okay. Because I love using momentum. Oh, 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 hey, let's go, let's go, it's a, it's a magician hat one, yo, <laughs> it's a magician hat one, I like ye. Okay, and for this last one, it's gonna be a little bit, uh, it's definitely gonna be a little bit complicated to get this one. Because, well, again, I appreciate the thought that this game doesn't really hold your hand as much to teach you how to do things. You learn on your own, which is how you should play video games. But uh, this one is a little bit, but this one is a little bit complicated to uh, understand how to do. So what you really need to do here is you need to get, you need to press this switch right here. They will activate these 10 ring rings. And you need to get all of them in order to uh, open up the way to the next switch. And you just gotta keep on doing that over and over and over again until you... Uh, let me switch over to another song. Yeah, there we go. Let the Speed Mend It. Even, that's not the proper title. That's Let the Speed Mend It from Secret Rings. Fools. <laughs> Anyway, that's basically what you have to do. Oh god. Okay. Okay. All right. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. I think we're good. Uh Where's the next one? Oh, here it is. Oh god. <laughs> oh my god. I I almost got I almost got hacked, dude. Okay. Uh, trying to line myself. Okay, there we go. There we go. And uh, for one wild second, I thought I fell. I thought I fell off right there. Um, yeah, this is epic platforming music for all you for all the gaming montages. This is totally. This is totally radical. Uh, what am I doing here? Or where am I going? I think I have to go over this way, actually. Because you can break that iron box. Yeah, you can break that iron box right there. And, uh, I just got to go back up to it. Okay, there we go. There we go. And then you just gotta homing attack these balloons right there. And uh, use momentum. Even though it's technically... Wow. Good. Uh, where's the other one? Uh, where's the other Oh god, it's up there?! Oh, I thought it would be like, oh, God, okay. Okay. Okay, good thing there's an upper pathway right there. I probably shouldn't do that, but okay. Just gonna air trick it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, 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 okay. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh. Yeah, sometimes control can be a little bit janky at times. I'm not going to deny that. I'm not going to deny some form of jankiness is happen was happening right there. Uh, where did I end up? Or... Oh, wait. Do I... No, wait. Those... Oh, wait, wait. Here, 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 here. This is just the way to the uh, Coco, then. The big one! The big king! Look at this guy! Why aren't there official Coco plushies yet? 
I really, I really want them to have like Coco plushies at this point. They really should. And okay, we got, we got them all. All right. All right. So I gotta go over to well, first of all, Hermit to boost up my stats because we got all those seeds. And I'm at level twenty for both counts actually. And then, uh, Kingdom Valley, why not? And then I want to go over to, uh, uh, Elder. So that I can turn in all the cocoa to boost up the boost gauge. Well, if it isn't the village leader, where did you go? The king himself, it's an honor. Hello, Jimmy. Thank you for boosting up my boost gauge. All right, so let's grant ourselves some more power. Um, well, it doesn't really tell you how many cocoa that you have here to, well, it doesn't really tell you the amounts or anything, but um, I think I just want to do like ring capacity because that's what I, that's what I personally prefer. And since we got all those cocoa from the, uh, from everything, then we might as well. Cool. Uh, where's my, where's my infinity boost? There we go. Again, very nice that you can even raise your boost gauge in the first place and everything. And I appreciate it. But again, maybe sort of kind of unnecessary. Um, so, now the point is, we need more memory tokens here to, uh, you know, talk to various characters, you know, Amy and Sage. Which, you know, Sonic doesn't know the name of, which Sonic doesn't even know who that is yet, by the way. Doesn't even know who Sage is. So, thankfully, there are more than enough memory tokens to actually, to actually, you know, talk to all the characters to view every single one of their side stories and everything. But then in comes the hard part of com actually completing Sonic Frontiers to begin with. So, you see all the uh, memory tokens that are marked on the map, right? Like, all of them, if you can filter out like this. You can clearly see that there are a lot of them. And even though the game gives you more than enough to talk to both, you know, characters, both characters on, to all the characters on each island, the fact it remains that um, they, that the only ones that are pointed towards completion whenever we get to see the completion map are the ones that are found on the map. Not any extras that you can possibly find on, on well, thanks to Siloop or Big's Fishing. No. They only count for the ones that are on the map. And it's insane. It's actually kind of insane that they would even consider they would even consider that it's like why would you do that why would you do that to a poor sonic completionist like myself sonic frontiers completionist like myself i mean i've already done this once on uh chronos island before in the practice playthrough and uh it was definitely it was definitely a whole lot of time consuming it was very time consuming and, uh, again, because they give you way more than enough, I don't think it's worth it, but, but since I found out that you actually do get something for completion, no matter how small of a reward it may be, I'm going to be the crazy, I'm going to be the actual crazy man and just do all of them because I'm just that insane of a person to ever co actually complete a freaking Sonic game. Because I feel like this is the first game in the in the Sonic timeline where I'm like, yeah, I can I can complete this, no problem. And I'm like, oh god, I'm ready for a journey. So I'm just gonna get oh my god, what what was that? <laughs> so I'm just gonna get a few memory to tokens here because you'll need plenty of them to view to view plenty of the side stories here. And uh, I'm just going to let 
I'm just gonna let this all play out here. So whenever I do feel like I have enough, then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do this thing and just talk to Amy, both Amy and Sage. So if you will excuse a moi. All right, I decided to go back to uh, the Western fishing spot. Hey, Sonic. Welcome, Welcome back. back. Would you yeah, like boy. And I'm gonna get the rest of the fishes right here. And this is already uh, this already tells you what you need to do, which I already know. And by the way, um, I don't think it really matters where you cast your line. Actually, fish are always gonna bite no matter what. So. It really only fits. By the way, I didn't learn this until my more recent playthrough, but you can actually uh, just keep on mashing the A button to just skip the uh, part where the fish goes out of the water. Just like this. You can just press the A button right there. And you'll immediately go over to uh, what Sonic hooked on the fishing rod, and you'll be able to, s and you'll be able to save yourself some time. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and just get the rest of the fish here. And, uh, well, spend the rest of my tokens anyway. All right, that's it. So when it goes back to the Madaka, I believe that's the uh, point where everything just sort of loops now. So I think that will be good. I believe you can only get the... Uh, yeah, I believe you can only get the uh, Hermit and Elder Coco scrolls once. But I think you can also get as many gold cards as you can. Yep. Yep. I don't think. I know it is. <laughs> That's what I do indeed know. So you can just keep on getting as many gold cards as you want. Even if you completed absolutely everything in the fishing spot, you can still go ahead and go back to fish as much as you like. And get as many rewards as you please. That's the fun part. When you get to cheese Sonic Frontiers, you really get to cheese Sonic Frontiers. And that'll be my last catch then. You don't have any Would you Yeah, I don't have any caught. And uh, there we go. Those are all the uh, catches for uh, Chronos Island. And I like how it sneaks in a little bit of extra fun with it. Like you can get like various objects too, like the springs, the goalposts, the goalposts, the star, the checkpoints, the ring, you know, you know, just fun stuff like that. Would you like All right. Um, let let's see. You can buy as many red or blue seats as you want, by the way. Uh... 
Ooh, shoot. They're all out of memory tokens for Amy. Uh, then... I think I'm just gonna... I think I'm just gonna get, you know, the rest of the, uh, seeds, then. Which, they have an unlimited supply, by the way. Red. I don't know. I, I don't know who voice is big, but I think they're just putting on a voice where it's like with John St. John, you can't really tell. I mean, he did a good job. I mean, whoever is voicing big in this game, you know, they did a good job. But, you know, with John St. John, you can't really tell whether he's Duke Nukem or just Big the Cat. Anyway, I got 103 uh, memory tokens, and I think we might as well get caught up on our skills here, too. Stomp attack. <clears throat> this will definitely be very helpful. Because during a combo, just press the B button. And it works especially well for just speed running for just speed running battles. Well, the mini bosses as well as the various bosses. And uh the other one that we can get is Wild Rush. By pressing by pressing LB and then X, we can just speed towards the enemy just like that. So that's mainly the use of dodging right there to just to get your wild rush going. Oh, and uh, by the by, yeah, I know, I I, I meant to uh, put on uh, Sonic Heroes actually. Okay, uh, I might as well increase speed by using everything. Uh, so anyway. Uh, okay, so I was saying, I think we got enough memory tokens here to, uh, get on our merry little way. At least I hope. So, what I'm gonna do here is, unless I, ha unless it turns out that I don't have everything that I need, aka all the memory tokens, I'm gonna go get some more. Uh, but otherwise, we're gonna spend the rest of this video going over all the various side stories. And by the way, another tip for gaining skill points is to do the various platforming challenges and break the metal boxes. There you'll get over a thousand or maybe even even more than a thousand, which I said twice in a row now. And, uh, well, skill points, because a thousand skill points equals a, well, a thousand skill pieces, I mean, equals a skill point. So, you can easily build up your uh, skill points even further than that. So, yep, 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 indeed. One cool thing, actually, uh, before we get to the side stories, is that in Update 2, they actually added in all the various movements of each island so that you can listen to them over and over again as much as you like, which I think it's pretty cool. I like the first movement of Kronos Island because it really fits the uh, atmosphere of the play of this mysterious place. And the second movement is just the main theme of the Starfall Islands, which I think I'm going to keep on. Anyway, I'm going to do the side stories. I'm going to show you the locations on the map. So let's go. It's beautiful here, but there's a loneliness here. The land feels sad and empty. Yeah, I got the same feeling. I think it's tied to the ruins, weird robots, and other stuff we've encountered. But on the plus side, I've got plenty of room to run around. And you never know how many new routes you may discover. Yeah, I'll try not to have too much fun finding a way to restore you. Adventures. Yeah, they're ancient, but also look kind of advanced. Wait, is retro sci-fi a thing? How were the tower and the floating giant stone built? Tails is the genius among us. Let's find him and see if he can figure things out. Right. 
I'm sure he'll hang on until I find him. So, something's been bugging me about these ruins. The whole reason we came was because Tails detected the Chaos Emeralds were drawn here, right? And now I'm finding digital keys and confinement towers that seem custom-made to hold the Emeralds. Like half this stuff was built with them in mind. Maybe the Ancients used the Chaos Emeralds in the past. We've learned of other past civilizations who did too. Yeah, but those groups tried to use them. And the stuff here seems all about containment. Maybe they knew something about their power that we don't. The Chaos Emeralds are still pretty mysterious, even after all we've done with them. These ruins are almost like a puzzle. I know, right? I don't even know what I'm doing with most of these. I'm just running on instinct. Well, the energy that powers them is linked to cyberspace, right? And you took on that power when you freed me. Maybe that link is giving you special insight? Maybe they use that link among themselves. Like, instead of a language, they shared their thoughts and feelings directly. Yeah, maybe. All I know is the idea of the map gets updated in my head, which brings me one step closer to rescuing you. condition, well, I don't know, uh, uncomfortable? It's certainly unsettling, but it makes a big difference being able to at least talk to you. Before you freed me, I couldn't see or hear anything clearly. It was like looking into a kaleidoscope that was always shifting. I couldn't tell if I was coming, going, or moving at all. I'd have gone crazy if you hadn't gotten me out. Uh, you're tough. I know you'd have hung in there. Still, I'm glad I could get you out. And I'm not gonna stop until you're back to normal. Are you trying to figure out the mysteries about these ruins too? Kind of spooky everyone seems to be gone, huh? The technology of the ancients exceeds your modern understanding. Unwelcome pests like you will be swiftly eliminated. Okay, I'm trying to be civil here, but are you saying they lost control of their tech and it wiped them out? No. Okay, okay. So you're not in a talking mood. I'll leave you be. Show up everywhere. You know, I, I don't think we were ever properly introduced. I'm Sonic. I know who you are. Your age, your biometrics, your weaknesses. You live for speed, are short-tempered, and short-sighted. Oh, <laughs> so you're a fan. But I don't know anything about you, Miss... I will not share personal information with an enemy. Why are we enemies? <sighs> Weird kid. I don't really get a bad vibe off of her, though. Like I said, they'll give you way more than enough than you'll need to even, you know, get all the side stories in terms of memory tokens anyway. 
So, I don't want to do, like, ring capacity to speed. I just kind of want to, you know, just do the thing and then get this over with. So, you know, we can just do this thing properly. All right. So, aside from the... Aside from the memory tokens on the map, I think that's everything on Kronos Island. I think I'll just do a montage later on about me getting all the memory tokens and then just play them on the bottom corner of the screen, actually. Alright, next time on Sonic Frontiers, we solve a grave mystery, and hopefully that will lead us to the Titan. You guys aren't ready. See you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching. And goodbye.